Welcome, Leo, to your singles love reading. Hope everybody is doing well. We're going to jump right into your reading. Um, if you guys are wanting to know what the decks are, this is the AF Tarot deck. The Soul Cards Tarot, they come in multiple colors. And then we do have the, what is this one called? The Lovers of Oracles. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right in and see what is coming through for Leo for the month. Ooh, look at that. Uh, for the month of November. All right, so we have the Emperor, the Three of Cups, all upright, very nice, and the Eight of so uh, the Eight of Cups. Hmm. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Okay, Ace of Rings. I like this. It seems like a new opportunity. It's on its way. Something that's solid that looks successful here. We do have, I mean, this could be even regarding work, even though we're talking about love, but there is an opportunity here regardless. We do have the emperor energy who's very serious, determined, and disciplined, um, focused uh, energy, very wise, okay? Someone that's very mature. We do have the three of cups, which is coming together, some type of happiness or unity, celebration. And with the um, eight of cups, it's like going into a new direction here, but also not quite um walking away from something as of yet all right so let's see what else we have here keep in mind this reading may not resonate with every single one of you so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind the emperor again <laughs> very nice okay so we have the emperor the ace of cups the two you guys what is going on so there's definitely a new opportunity here a new love wow king of wands i am going back to the older way that i read readings before okay so as you can see they're um they're upright and then i clarify differently but let's go ahead and get the the reading in okay we have the page of cups coming through for you guys very very nice i love this okay a lot of cups energy and a lot of new love okay uh we do have the nine of cups something that you're desiring or someone's desiring someone just like you with the queen of cups this is stating that this is a very loving energy intuitive empath nurturer healer here so you guys may be carrying this um, we do have an offer coming into the reading. Now, with this Ace of Cups, this is showing a brand new beginning in love. Okay, a brand new beginning. And with the Two of Cups energy, it's in the challenge. So there could be a challenge of finding that connection or coming together with somebody. And I do feel it's because you're operating from the Emperor energy, which is basically like... Um, something you're going to be attracting also male or female okay the emperor is is again very serious takes care of business this is a, a loving energy also and very responsible so i do feel is that's what you're attracting and that it that's what you couldn't find possibly with someone that like at someone that you know um matched your energy in some way okay but there is nurturing involved in this connection too we do have the eight of swords coming in into um the energy here of your person there could be another energy here maybe another fire sign but there's something about stability with the queen of pentacles on what you don't see coming now the nine of, and that's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and strong Aries here, and then um, fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But we do have somebody coming in with the nine of swords. So there is, seems like there's like a, either a brand new opportunity or a rise of emotions here with the ace of cups. So let's go ahead and clarify, because I am feeling a king, a king of cups energy here. King of rings, I'm sorry, king of um, wands. So let's see, we're gonna use the witch tarot. Okay, these are gonna be more of reversals to get more in depth into the reading on what is coming in for you. So let's get see what this Ace of Cups is for Leo for singles. 
Oh, I see you guys. You're releasing a very toxic relationship here with a devil and you're moving towards new love. Okay, so someone here was very, very toxic who possibly got in your head, maybe made you lose sleep. Okay, someone who, who could have had a lot of toxic, uh, toxic habits, bad habits. And I feel like this person here with the Eight of Swords, they could be in their head now. Okay, they're feeling some type, they're feeling trapped in some way and their actions are feeling a lot of anxiety. What you don't see coming though is this beautiful Queen of Pentacles energy that is all about grounding your life, going back to stability, balance, nurturing connections. So let's see what this Two of Cups is and then we'll get to this Emperor because we have it twice. Yeah, going like back and forth possibly with emotions here, maybe with another, with an energy. Um, let's see the Emperor. Look at that. That's beautiful. Yes, you guys are like nurturing yourself, loving yourself, grounding yourself here. This is such a loyal energy. It's so beautiful. You're so real, like, you could be relied on. People can trust you, you know. You love hard. And I love that, that you're carrying that. Let's get the Seven of um, Pentacles. The Hermit. Both withdrawing. Okay. So there could be something you're withdrawing that you're no longer wanting to like invest in at this time so you guys could be doing a lot of soul searching and searching for the truth yeah you could be like still on a break from an energy or just more in separation but i feel like you're getting more clarity from something as you're spending more time with yourself let's get this ace of swords oh, okay someone definitely is um trying to get away with something here could be a leo for another leo for some of you guys with the Ten of Wands. This person really tested your strength here. Okay, this is something that you just feels like just creates heavy burdens for you, that you're, that things could be at pause with this person and you're just wanting to surrender this energy. Yeah, Seven of Swords, the Devil, that's who you were dealing with. And I feel like you're, released, you're, you're moving on to new love here as you love yourself more and going more towards new opportunities. With the Knight of Pentacles, it's more of this, this uh, pentacle energy it's like unstucking yourself but things may be slowly moving forward but there's success at the end okay so i love that what's the nine of swords there's some type of choice or some type of secret here you guys could be very silent i feel this person is very much you know doing things behind the scenes they're being very secretive as we have the seven of swords not having the best intentions yeah, I feel you are seeing very clear within this energy with the lovers. So this could be you making a choice here. Let's get the... Um, could be a third party situation or other energies or somebody just being attached to bad situations. The High Priestess is very intuitive. So I do feel... Oh, look at that Emperor again. You guys got the Emperor three times with the Queen of Wands. Now with the Queen of Wands in the reverse, there's an energy. We're gonna clarify the Nine of Cups too, but there is an energy of jealousy, okay? There's an energy of envy, someone who really doesn't like to see others succeed. Um, could be male or female, but I do see the Emperor coming out. So, and the outcome, there's a very, there, there's like a, a feeling of leveling up, knowing your worth, sitting on your throne here, standing your ground, being very strict and focused with yourself and people and who you allow into your life. Okay, let's get the Nine of Cups. The King of Swords. Temperance. Okay, great. Beautiful. With the Hierophant in reverse, yeah, there's could be an energy that is non-committal, doesn't feel like they're on a lined path with you. But we do have this King of Swords. Um, I do see an energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they could be desiring for this connection, but they're coming, this could be the person that's more attached to the double energy that you're moving away from. Um, I feel like they're desiring you, but keeping all their feelings within. They're not really like expressing what they feel. They're just being sneaky in their mind. They're being strategic. And I feel like here with this temperance card, you're just wanting peace, balance, and real love here. Um, 
with the Knight of Cups, I feel like you really gave this person your all and that's what you're going to, but I feel like now you're kind of like stabilizing your love, put like putting things in perspective and not giving it out so easily now, right? Or maybe you haven't, but just not only giving it out to the people that you feel are trustworthy and that's by getting to know other energies. So it does look like there is something coming in for you, but someone hasn't walked away from this way you are the, are the person. Okay, let's see what they have to say to you. Um, I'm thinking of using the untold messages. Okay, and what is the other one that's mixed in here? And the love oracles. I put two decks together. I just love how the combo comes out. Okay, so let's see. So first card out, we have I need time. Okay, that could be you or this person. Finances are a problem. I love you. Okay. I think the world of you. Friends or family disapprove of this connection baggage. I feel it's this person. Okay, there is a new love coming in. New found of emotions. But I do see that there's there's friends or family disapprove of this connection and I'm sweeping away toxicity to make room for what's important. Also, we have, I miss you and I feel terrible for hurting you. And there was someone interfering in our relationship. So yeah, I do see like this person, the one that was like toxic in a way could be, you know, kind of sweeping things under the rug. But I feel like this person is like kind of going out of the picture because there's something else coming in very beautifully and that this energy looks very promising and it's a promising offer. Okay, I do believe, you know, people can change, but depending on your situation um, and depend, you know, it does look like someone is, is definitely coming in um, as you're releasing a toxic situation as someone else, you know, it's still kind of lingering in this situation, in this, um, with the seven of swords but i feel like you're more balancing and focused and going towards stability okay there's like a an, an energy of like a match of energy with the emperor which is literally leveling up this is like the highest you can go with right here so i love this very much this is having a lot of power and i feel like you're going to meet the purse the, the your match here all right Let's go ahead and close out the reading here. I use these as more as advice from spirit. Okay, so let's see. Look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. I'll get one more for you guys. And romance, ooh, I love it, see? Romance, Cupid, arrow strikes. I mean, look, keep a lookout for an emperor energy because this is absolutely beautiful. There is somebody matching you. Okay, Leo? Very nice, very nice. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here. If you do like this message or if it helped or resonated in any way, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys very soon. God bless.